Hey guys, welcome to our uh, Friday evening Let's Talk Marriage, but it's not Let's Talk Marriage this week. We got something special in store, but I want to invite you guys here to some special guests that we have in our bookstore. So come join us. Come this way. I think you guys may recognize who they are. They just happen to be in here. <laughs> Hi, Pastor. Hey, Marie, how are you? Good, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas coming up to everybody and New Year's. And uh, see our special guest here? And we're in the bookstore. This is cool. <laughs> yeah, we have a book. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, a question that I want to ask Pastor Marie this, this afternoon or this evening is, what are some of the ways uh, as people, many people are going through a difficult time, especially during the season, whether it's spiritual, it can be a lot of loneliness that is, that is going on, especially during these times. What encouragement would you bring to those or would you say to those who may be going through this difficult time? You know what I would say, John, I would say cling to the Lord during this time and, and make him your, your, your number one thing to, 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 think on, you know, um, but that's what I, I would say to, to just cling to the Lord and, um, and to be encouraged that what Jesus has done for us, uh, he came to this world for, and he paid the price, died on the cross for our sins and, um, be grateful for a God that we honor, um, that's what I, I would say. He, 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 he loved us so much. He paid that price. So I, I think sometimes we, 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 we make a big deal about presence and all these other things, but it's really about worshiping our, our Father in heaven. And I think we need to give him all the worship uh, that he deserves. Yeah, in a world that seems to be centered on Christmas being my birthday, you know, quite a number of people, you know, almost look at it as it's my birthday. I'm supposed to get certain kinds of things, right? Presents and this and that. So in a world that's filled with the sense of this is about me, I think what Marie just said is the right, is obviously the right way that we should look at it. It's not about us. It's about him. It's about what he's done. It's God with us. It's God with us. And so for those who don't know the Lord, I believe that Christmas is simply another excuse to party. Mm -hmm. or it's just another day to be lonely. Mm -hmm. But for those who know the Lord, it's an opportunity to rejoice at his birth. There are basically a book and bookends that we as Christians enjoy. The bookends would be the birth of Christ and the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, right? So this is our opportunity to, to rejoice at the fact that God loved and God gave, and that Jesus was born as a... Um, as a, a human being, as a human child, fully God and fully man, and that he, he lived a life uh, 33 years and then yielded it for us. I mean, wh what better present could we ever receive than the gift of life that he offers us? And so, yeah, Marie and I have been celebrating Christmas together for a long time, and we've celebrated it, um, you know, with babies and now grandbabies, with family and friends. And, mm -hmm. and we've tried to, all through the years, John, we've tried to, and I think we've succeeded, to keep Jesus Christ in the center of it. Mm -hmm. Because without him, what's the purpose, right? right? So yeah, for those who are lonely during this time, um, I understand loneliness, but Jesus would more so, because mm -hmm. he said, now I'm alone, you know, and yet I'm not alone. As he was speaking to his father, he said, because you are with me. You know, so being alone for me has been an opportunity to draw closer to him. Because in that time that I'm not being um, disrupted in terms of the continuation of event to event, when I'm able to, to sit for a moment, catch my breath, and, and think about what the Lord has done in my life and what he has uh, given to me, I've come to realize that it's not a present that I'm looking for, but presence that I'm looking for. And the presence obviously would be his presence. And so 
celebrate the birth of Christ and what that means and meditate on those things and be careful not to make it your own birthday. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, thank you guys so much for that. Uh, just give a brief encouragement. And guys, I want you guys to look forward to uh, something new that we have with Let's Talk Marriage. It's going to come really soon. And it will be at our same time on Facebook at 6 p.m. But look out for the announcements of when that's going to come out. And again, Pastor David and Marie, thank you guys so much for sharing this moment with you guys. And uh, anything you'd like to say? We love you guys. And come to church. And for you with the banana in the head, no, I'm just kidding. With, <laughs> with you who wear those bunny slippers, <laughs> show up. God bless you. We love you. Thanks, guys. God bless you. <laughs>